What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to solve this cube. Now this cube is actually a very easy puzzle to solve and it only takes one algorithm to solve it. You heard me, one algorithm. Now the method that we're going to use to solve this cube has only three steps. The first step is to solve the white side. The second step is to place the remaining centers. And the third and final step is to orient the corners and solve the cube. So let's scramble the cube. That looks pretty good. So let's get started. So the first step is to solve the white side. Now the first thing we have to do is locate the white center. Here it is right here. And what we need to do is we have to put the four white corners around this white center piece. So what we need to do first is find just one white corner and put it in any of these four spots. So let's find one. Here's one right here. So since the cube's already scrambled and no white corners are already solved yet, we can put this corner directly into this spot by just turning this up. And this could be our first corner that will define all the other corners' correct positions. What I mean by that is, since this corner piece is in, we can either put a white-orange corner here or a white-green corner here. So let's find either of those two. Here is a white and green corner. As you can see, we can simply put this piece in the correct spot. However, if we do that, it's not going to be oriented correctly because white would be off to the side instead of towards the white center. Now when you find the corner to be misoriented, when you put it in its correct spot, you need to look at where the white sticker is. In this case, it's on the right. And if it's on the right, you want to move this corner to the left, like this. Then you can bring this corner out of the way. And when you bring this corner in, you see that it matches with the center. If this corner was already solved, you would turn this back, but since there was no corner here to begin with, you could just leave it alone. Now that we have these two corners solved, we need to solve the other two corners. This corner has to have white and red on it, and this corner just so happens to be in the correct spot, but it's not rotated correctly. So what we have to do is we have to do the same thing. We look at where the white sticker is, it's on the right, and since it's on the right, we have to bring it to the left, rotate the corner, and bring it back in. And there's our third corner. Now we need to do our final corner, which is over here, and it can only be in one of these two spots. So since we found our corner, we can just put it in, like this. And as you can see, it's not rotated correctly. The white sticker is again on the right, so we have to bring this to the left. And this time, since this corner is solved, we have to push this corner out of the way, like that. Then we can bring this corner in, and bring the other corner back. And now we have oriented this corner. But let's say the white sticker was on the left instead of on the right. Instead of bringing this corner to the left and rotating it incorrectly, what you have to do instead is you have to bring this corner to the right. Then we have to push this corner out of the way and bring this corner back in and bring the other corner back. And as you can see, we have the first four corners put around the white centerpiece. So there's step one. So for step two, we have to solve these centerpieces. And this is where the first and only algorithm comes into play. What we have to do is we have to look at the centerpiece that's on top. In this case, it is red. And we have to put it into its correct spot. In this case, this red centerpiece goes here and it will replace the orange. And speaking of replacing centers, the algorithm will swap these two centerpieces and it's also going to switch these two centerpieces as well. So since this red piece is on top, we want it to go on the red side, which means that we have to put red in front of us before we do the algorithm. And how the algorithm works is this, I'm going to call this axis as R, and this as L. And that's basically the only bits of notation that you need to know on this cube. And the algorithm to swap these two centerpieces and these two centerpieces is as follows. R prime, L, R, L prime. And as you can see, we swap these two pieces and these two pieces. Now, we just have to completely ignore that this is already solved and just look at the top center piece again. In this case, it's orange. So again, we have to put the orange side in front of us and then do the algorithm again. R prime, L, R, L prime. As you can see, orange is now solved. Let's check the top center piece, which is green. So we have to put green in front and then do the algorithm again. R prime, L, R, L prime. And as you can see, green's in the correct place. Now we have blue on top, which has to go here. And if you get this case where these two centers need to switch, 
and these two centers we switch, and these two are already solved, you're pretty much in the home stretch. You just do the algorithm one more time, and you'll be finished with the step. So R prime, L, R, L prime. And as you can see, all the center pieces are in their correct places. But there's one more case I want to go over. So this is a case that you might run into, where the color on the top face is yellow. And yellow is opposite of white in a regular color scheme, so that means that this centerpiece is already in the correct spot. So if you get a case like this, where the top centerpiece is already in the correct spot, what you have to do is just choose a random angle and do the algorithm once. R prime, L, R, L prime. And now we got a case that we're familiar with. As you can see, blue is on top, so we have to put the blue side in front of us and then do the algorithm. Now real quick, I want to mention that all the other centers are going to be messed up when you do the algorithm, but that's okay. When you do this step, all you have to do is focus on the top center piece and put that in its correct spot. And you just keep on doing it until all the center pieces are in their correct spots. So here's blue, it has to go down here, so we do the algorithm. Orange is on top, so we'll put orange in front and do the algorithm. Red's on top, so we go to red and do the algorithm. And as you can see, it solved it. So there is step two. For step three, we want to orient the corners and solve the cube. Now, in the method overview, I didn't mention we're going to permute the corners. That's because when you get to this step, all the corners will be in their proper places to begin with. You do not have to swap them at all. Now, once you get to this step, you'll encounter one of three scenarios. The first scenario, all of them will be oriented correctly, which means that you have skipped the third step and finished the solve. Consider yourself lucky. The second case is what I have here, where two corners are not oriented correctly and two corners are. And the third case is when we have no corners oriented correctly. Now, this is the hardest case that you can have, and what the algorithm will do is it will orient all four corners. So if you have a case where two corners are oriented correctly, you want to put it so it's like this. So one of the yellows faces you and the other is on the right. And then you do the algorithm twice. R prime, L, R, L prime. Do it again. R prime, L, R, L prime. And as you can see, it swapped these two centers and these two centers and swapped them back. And we did something to our corners. Now we're in a case where you have no corners that are oriented correctly. So what you want to do is you want to put it so it's like this. So one yellow faces you, the other one is on the back, and the other two pieces are on the left. Very easy to remember. One yellow faces you, the other one is on the back, and the other two are on the left. Keeping the cube in this position, we're going to do the algorithm twice. R prime, L, R, L prime. Do it again. R prime, L, R, L prime. And like that, you solved the cube. So there we go, guys. That's how you solve the cube. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and please share with your friends and family. And if you haven't, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. Until next time, toodles. But as I said before, don't worry about any of the other centers. Just focus on the top center. So blue has to go here. So do the algorithm. R prime. Oh, I hate when that happens. Okay.